as we stand beneath the pale purview of the moon. Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Having defeated the Pontiff Sullivan, it is high time that we proceed upon our way. Now, I will say that um, I am unsure as to the best direction we should proceed at this point. Uh, we knew for sure uh, previously that Irithyll of the Boreal Valley was going to be uh, the the proper path, but now we're, I, I am personally at a bit of a loss to know where to go. So first things first, we're going to clear the deck as it were here, make sure we pick up everything that there is to uh, procure. And I think we are moving uh, in the direction we should be heading. Okay. Interesting. Wow, there's a whole nother cathedral portion here that I was not tracking. So, Pontiff Sullivan, uh, not a Lord of Cinder, although he for sure felt like he could uh, have merited one. Interesting that some people were mentioning that he was originally intended to be a final boss of sorts. Uh, but I suppose the story was reworked to uh, move in a different direction. I really did uh, enjoy his particular uh, variation in uh, in in uh, attack combos. I think that was that was a good challenge for us, which I believe will set us up well for the future. Okay. Already got some pyromancy individuals here. I, I say we backtrack and we try to do this as methodically as possible. There's a fog wall here which we are unable to proceed in. Because we have a number of mages. Uh, none too challenging, I don't think. Just those of the candle wielding variety. One slightly larger than the rest. Invaded by Aldrich Faithful Fool. Alright, now that seems like a scripted NPC invasion because we are in fact embered. So I suppose we'll wait for that to occur. Starting things off with a little bit of a, uh, a bang, I guess. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Now, where is this scripted invasion? Well, until I see them, I suppose we will just continue in the direction we have been previously heading. Oh, come on. Alright, we're taking a good amount of damage, just being assaulted on all sides. Human dregs. Okay, we'll have to check that out in a moment. Alright, now that looks like somebody who is a little bit more of a challenge, right? Let's recover our stamina. Oh my goodness. We've got two human looking individuals to look out for. Alright, that's one of them. Let's heal up. Alright, come on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. None of that. Alright, there's another one. Drang Twin Spears. Now... I don't know. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I I feel like this bears mentioning. Does Drang relate to Drang Laic? That, of course, being the realm of uh, consideration in Dark Souls Two. I don't see the summon, the NPC or not summon, but the NPC invasion. So perhaps we'll check this out real quick. Drang Twin Spears was what it was called. Uh, let's see. 
Here we go. Paired spears of the Drang Knights proclaimed descendants from the land known for the legend of the linking of the fire. When the Drang Knights disbanded, they scattered across the lands as cell swords. They quickly became known for shieldless, aggressive tactics that struck fear in the hearts of men. Now that, for sure, sounds like us, doesn't it? Uh, aggressive, shieldless tactics. I wonder if I understand exactly what it is implying, then in fact... Oh no! Oh my goodness. Assassination. Well, that's cool. Alright, we are back and have retrieved our souls. So now, who exactly has been shooting at us? That's what I want to know. Oh, somebody way up top. Okay. Uh, now... The attentive viewer will notice that we've got a number of giants down here to attend to. So let us not neglect our duty. Now, unfortunately, we are now officially unembered. So no more invasions for us for the time being. Um... I suppose we could re-ember, but I've been I've been pretty stingy with the embers so far. Uh, very sad to see the giants in such a state of dismay. I suppose. As I say that, though, we're gonna just kill them anyway. <laughs> you know, you say one thing, you feel the other thing. Uh, I am sad that the dragon, or the, uh, the giants, rather, are not, uh, in a good spot in their life. But, I mean, if they're gonna come at me, if they're gonna come at the king, that then they, they best not miss. Alright. I believe everybody else is... dead. Good for us, I suppose. Another large Titanite shard. We are certainly getting plenty of those nowadays, aren't we? Here we go. Uh-oh. Another day, another giant. Again, so sorry to giants and giant kin for what must be done, but I don't make the rules. I just defend myself when the, uh, the opportunity arises, you know? Alright. What do we have over here? Nothing much. Nothing much. Okay. Up we go in that case. Thirty-five thousand souls. That's a decent amount for us to be holding on to at the moment. Help me illusion ahead. Is there really? Oh, there is. Oh my goodness. Wow, the rare... <laughs> the rare illusion into a totally normal looking wall that I, for sure, did not expect. Time for Lizard. Only no arm ahead. Okay. Oh, this is one of those Lizards that we fought um, up at the entrance to the Boreal Valley. So here we go. This is how we're leading this off. Three. Three health. Good. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit rough, right? Oh no. Oh, there's two of them. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't expect two of them. Oh, this is dreadful. Simply dreadful. 
So before we return to our dual lizard enemy, uh, I did a little bit of a backtrack here into the cathedral in which we fought the uh, the good pontiff. Chest ahead, therefore be wary of enemy. And I think we know what that means, don't we? Trap ahead, monster ahead. All right. Well, that is why we carry a number of undead hunter charms on our person, is it not? So here we go. Yeah, I I do not have the time of day. Golden ritual spear, sure, I'll take it. Absolutely. And now we've got a little bit of a backtrack. Well, we've got this um, this elevator. So next time, next time we'll have this available to us. I, d I didn't even realize that this was an option, but uh, good thing we know. If in fact, oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, we're we're a little loose right now. Let's let's keep it together. Uh, so once we get back down to the basement in which there are the two lizards, we do want to maybe try to uh, attract them one at a time uh, because I do not see a high chance of success with us attempting to deal with both of them simultaneously. Visions of Lizard, yeah, no kidding. Oh, this lizard. A simple gem, okay. I believe that is everything here in the cathedral itself. So let's proceed on a little bit of a run back. Which I will now demonstrate. <laughs> back to the Deathly Lizard Room. And we're not we're not even gonna give these mages the time of day. I simply do not see the point. You know what? We have not tried this door yet. Let's try it just in case. It's not open. It's fine. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Teal. And up the stairs. <sighs> and down the stairs. Alright, here we go. So our strategy is going to be to try to attract one of them at a time, if at all possible. And fortunately, we can grab our souls real quick. Yeah, there's two of y'all. I see you now. Oh my goodness. All right. I don't know what else to do, but just something like that, right? Didn't even do any damage there. These are not great to fight. Oh no! Alright, heal again. Oh no! Alright. Let's run it back again, I suppose. Okay, I'm trying to figure out, is there a differing strategy that we can employ other than getting good? <laughs> That's the classic question, isn't it? Like, I want to take care of them. Now, they're not reacting to my bow uh, attacks. Have I found the proverbial ghost in the shell. Can I just in fact kill them from afar? I'm seeing I'm seeing the blood spatters, right? So theoretically that if I engage with them 
there should be a reduced health pool, should there not? Unless this is all fake. But I, I would like to think that this is in fact uh, a little bit of a gift from the Dark Souls gods. Let's continue for a piece to see if this is legit. Oh no! It was all an illusion. Of course. All right, come, come closer. Oh my gosh. Come on. Okay, get some stamina back. Whiff, whiff. Come on. Oh my gosh. No! Are you kidding me? God. Okay. Please, let's do this with a minimum of pain. Maximum satisfaction. Maximum knowledge gained on what exactly it is that you do. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. How do I not get... <laughs> How do I only hit him once? Okay. What? What what exactly is going on here? Heal. Okay. There we go. First one down. First one down, my friends. Oh my goodness. Let there be pyromancy. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Beware of monstrosity. All right. One of them down. That means next time we only have one to go. That's okay with me. Human dregs. We'll have to look up what that means. All right, come on over. Come on over. Come on over, baby. No. Oh no, where am I? Uh, I'm dead. That's where I am. That is ex exactly where I am. Okay, time to take care of this second son of a gun. Let's go. Come on, big fella. Come on, big and ugly. I'm ready for you. Keep the... It's between us. Okay. Okay. Where are you? Come on. Come over here. Whiffed again. He doesn't whiff on me. You know that. Heal. Stay out of his range. Alright, come on over. Oh no. Shouldn't have bit on that one. So to speak. Oh, did we get him? He's stunned. Let's go. Finish him off. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Or sir. Or whatever you are. <laughs> Ring of favor. And we get a bonfire here. Yeah, for sure. Feel like we earned it. What what with uh, what we went through right here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. And let's take our uh, our spoils of war, if you will. 
What exactly did we get? Is this a live person or otherwise? Pray to Archdeacon Mc McDonnell. I mean, maybe. Ask to join Covenant. I don't know. <laughs> sure. I don't know what Covenant this is. Aldrich Faithful. Huh. You have obtained proof of the Covenant. Offer human dregs. I su Well, let's take a look at the items specifically first. I assume that's the only use for that specific item, but uh, I did say at one point that I wanted to see what it was for. Proves an Aldrich Faithful has met their duty. Uh, who patiently await the devourer of God's return. Dregs are the heaviest things within the human body and will sink to the lowest depths imaginable where they become the shackles that bind this world. Well, we have uh, lots of proofs of covenants kept and I don't suppose that human dregs will be sus uh, specifically necessary. So, sure. Have to. <laughs> Covenant allegiance deepened. All right. Well, there we are. We know that he is, uh, in fact, there and ready to receive our allegiance. Any other things to pick up? I don't think there are. But 60,000 souls is nothing to sneeze at. So we for sure will want to go back to Firelink and take uh, care of those. Man, those specific type of enemies, very uh, unsettling, for sure. Very, very unsettling. Two of them at once, no doubt, uh, no less. Then touch the darkness within me. Oh no! <laughs> that was almost terrible. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. Level up. I am so sorry. Okay. Um, one in Vigor, one in Endurance. There we are. And we still have 19,000 left. We can probably grab a, a, an easy 3,000. I am so sorry. Let's rest at our bonfire so I don't accidentally kill our Firekeeper. Man, how terrible. I don't even know what would happen to our entire game if I accidentally killed the Firekeeper. That would be the, like, the worst possible scenario. Okay, but we do want to get 3,000 souls. Uh, let's see here. Where are they? Oh, it's purchase. That's not going to get me very far. Uh, 3,000. One of these should do nicely. Welcome home. Very well, then. All right, and we will get one in decks. There we are. Three levels in one sitting. At this point in the game, that that seems super impressive. That does seem super impressive uh, at this particular juncture. So where exactly are we? We are at the water reserve, are we not? All right. Well, that that at the time it it felt uh, rather arduous to take care of two of those enemies at once, but now feels definitely worth it. The opportunity to grab a bonfire and level up not once, not twice, but thrice. So uh, we are hot on the trail of Aldrich. And of course, if there's a covenant with his name on it down here, that means that Aldrich himself presumably cannot be far behind. Can't wait to find him. I can kind of wait to find him, I'll be honest. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. But we dealt with Pontiff Sullivan. So, um... Perhaps hope springs eternal where Ponte or where uh, Aldrich is concerned. All right, what do we got here? Well, we've got a view. That's what we got. First of all, that is superb.
All right, Titanite scale. Very good. Um, there's a few things up on upper platforms that we need to procure. And I am being shot at. Oh, this is another uh, Anna Orlando archer situation, is it not? Uh, let's go behind here first. Oh. There we go. I'll take that. Alright, up we go. Oh, it is exactly an Anna Orlando archer situation. Alright, why don't you come down here to my level, specifically. Oh no, they're content to pot shot at me from up there. Alright, well that's cool. Alright, that's one of them. Let's heal while we're at it. Here we are. Dragon Slayer everything. We'll look at that eventually, right? There we go. Number two down. Titanite shards procured. And then a third one. Here we go. Oh, goodness gracious me. All right. Heal. <laughs> Man, this, this Estus ring that we've procured, that we've got equipped right now, has felt better and better every time. I must say, not to be over dramatic, but like one Estus flask goes a hell of a long way. It uh, it sure feels like. Uh, there's stuff down there that we want to grab, of course. Let's, but let's take a look at what we've uh, what we've snagged. We we got a like a dragon slayer. Was it a bow or? You know what? I accepted the. I accepted everything too quickly. Probably this Dragon Crest Shield, right? One of the enchanted blue shields. It greatly reduces fire damage. And then there's parrying. And I and I believe there was Dragon Crest Armor, maybe? Uh, maybe not. Maybe it was a... Sword? Oh, there's this Golden Ritual Spear. Scales well with, uh, well, better with Dex. Steady Chant boosts the strength of sorceries for a very short period. Okay. Got it. Oh, there's quite a um, an even uh, requirement. Strength and Dex and Intelligence and Faith. Interesting. Okay, what else do we have? Red Hilted Halberd. Alright, I feel like whatever we picked up was not overly, um, how should I say, impactful on what we have going on here. Fire Witch Helm. Okay, Silver Knight Helm is also very good, but it puts us over the cap. Sorcerer Hood. Old Sorcerer Hat, Court Sorcerer Hood, Old Sage's Blindfold. All right. Nothing that we really need at the moment. Uh, we picked up a couple of rings. So here we go. Ring of Favor increases HP, stamina, and max equipment load. Now that feels important. Ring symbolizing the favor of the goddess Fina, whose fateful beauty is mentioned in legend. True to the fickle nature of Fina's favor, her ring increases max HP, stamina, and max equip load. So I wonder, is this better to equip than the Chlorinthy ring? Stamina recovery speed versus HP and just pure stamina itself. Very tempting at the moment, I must say. Um... Gosh, I don't know. 
I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna keep my current loadout at the moment. Because I want the attack boost, I want the heal boost for sure with the Estus Ring. If there was anything I was going to switch out, it would possibly be the Covetous Serpent Silver uh, Silver Serpent Ring just to switch soul uh, income to, you know, stamina and HP. But uh, I'm greedy. I'm covetous, as the name implies. So I think I'm going to keep it for the moment. But I, I am for sure uh, tempted by the Ring of Favor. Ooh, Easterner's Ashes. More fodder for the, um, uh, what's her name? The Shrine Handmaiden. Now that is exciting. All right, there's another dragon uh, or black knight down there. Let's go ahead and uh, get some free damage in. <laughs> All right, ready. I'll be taking that Titanite Shard, thank you very much. And... A little bit of free damage on you. Oh! <laughs> Alright, that's what I get. I deserve that. Man, with the big arrow through my chest as well. Alright, an archery battle. I know that's what you all signed up to see, right? No, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Lesson learned. Alright, one more should do it. There we are. All right, let's top off real quick. Oh no! <laughs> now that was almost bad. All right, archery duel. Number two. Oh, there's two of them. Well, isn't that cool? Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. We'll do this the, the regular way. Fine. I actually prefer melee to archery when all is said and done. Alright, Ar Tight Knight Shard, what were you guarding back here? Surely something? Oh. Nothing? Okay. You know what? That's totally fine too. Totally fine. Uh, alright. Under here is nothing. Under there is nothing. Let's vet the rest of these here, uh, rooftops. Oh, there's more down here. Another large shard. Alright. As well as shortcut, perhaps? Oh, for sure a shortcut, actually. Not even a maybe, uh, an absolutely. You're darn tootin'. Alright, let's open this up. Oh my goodness, that feels great. But let's leave those crazy pyromancers behind down there. Now that we know that we can get up here. Oh, there's some stuff down here. Let's drop down. 
Dragon Slayer Great Bow and Dragon Slayer Arrows. Those uh, will probably not be super usable by uh, by me. Just a guess as to their strength requirement. All right, let's go all the way around again. That's the price we pay, isn't it? That's what you get when you want a great bow. Whoa. You get one that's for dragon slayers. Whoa. But fortunately, since all the enemies are dead, it should be um, simple to get back to where we were. Everybody is dead. All right. Now, the only question is... The only question is, I do see there's another little ramp right there. Is that just cosmetic? I feel like it is. I don't think there's a way to actually get to it. Yeah, I'm not seeing one. So, in to the unknown. This feels like the uh, the Jedi Council Chamber. Master Yoda. Rolling ahead. Miscreant ahead. Oh, so a trap of some kind, huh? Secret passage ahead. By the way, visions of God. So how do I... How do I trigger said passage? Huh. I am not sure. I, th I thought it would be something where you would stand on this, but I per perhaps not. Okay, well, this direction then. A lot of blood stains. This place again? Oh, so this is going to be a uh, place where we are likely to perish, huh? Interesting. Okay. Up we go then. You know, if you were to throw another bonfire my way, I would totally not turn it down. You know, I, I would accept it with with arms wide open. This feels a lot like um, in Orlando from Dark Souls 1, doesn't it? In this explorer's humble opinion. Huh. Now, where the heck are we supposed to proceed from here? I suppose now we have this um, bridge turning lever right oh yeah look at that <laughs> all right all right yep this feels very much like an Orlando Complete with the golden double doors and a bonfire. You know, oh, <laughs> guys, I swear, <laughs> I swear I've never played Dark Souls 3 before. I swear to you, <laughs> I did not know this was going to be in Orlando, but it was. And in fact, was very much in Orlando. So I don't know why that cracked me up so much. Uh, all right, back to Firelink real quick. There's perhaps one more level to be had. Actually, you know what? Let's check on the level of our weapons. I think we are just waiting for Titanite chunks at this point. 
or before that even, oh. let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have ash to give. Easterner's ashes. Passing let Iona. So, what do you have to offer me? Oh, I saw large shards there. We've got moss fruit. Temporarily boosts all resistances. Very pricey, as you might expect. Um, yeah, large shards. Reinforced weapon to plus six. Not at all surprising. Crescent Axe, Morning, uh, Morning Star, so on and so forth. Various shields. Alright, these are new. Helm of Favor, Embraced Armor of Favor, Gauntlets of Favor, Leggings of Favor, Eastern Helm. Now, from memory, the... Uh, the Easterners are the ones that sold us the katana, or the, the, the Uchi katana in Dark Souls 1, I believe. Something like that. There was some trader in Blighttown, or, or the, the swamp, that, uh, that bestowed that upon us. Yeah, interesting. The Eastern armor looks super cool. I am extremely tempted right now. The armor of favor is... It's all right. I honestly think that the Eastern Armor looks better, though. Offers ex excellent damage absorption, particularly from slashing attacks from katanas, which are commonly encountered threats in battles fought in the East. I am I am so close to purchasing that right now, y'all. The Xanthus Overcoat still looks cool, but again, predicated mostly on magic resistance, which I'm ambivalent to, really, at this point. Oni, Slay Oni Slayer Great Arrow. Made from feathers of an aged crow. It is said that these arrows fly as straight as their master. In wood grain ring. This special ring crafted in an eastern land is made of metal, but with a wood grain crest on its surface, slows equipment degradation. Wielders of swords originating in the same region follow a practice of inscribing special words on the blades of their swords, and are naturally drawn to the spring. I mean, honestly, <sighs> equipment degradation has not really been a factor so far, so perhaps it will at some point in the future, in which case I'll pick this up. But so far, I mean, it's not doing a whole lot for me. All right, we're doing a nut. We're, we're totally doing another vanity purchase. Total vanity purchase. We're doing Eastern Armor. There we are. And what else? What else are we going to grab? Um, the Undead Legion Gauntlet. I'm tempted because it's it's kind of uh, it's going to cover my forearms, which I'm weirdly self conscious about. We're going to grab Fashion it. <laughs> this is the the content you follow. People self conscious about their forearm appearance. Uh, what did we just pick up? We picked up the Eastern Armor. Better in physical, uh, slash and thrust, lesser in magic fire, all the elemental essentially, higher poise. You know what, let's... Uh, it's gonna put us over our weight though, isn't it? Let's put, let's throw it on here. Let's see if we can switch this up to something a bit lighter to get us under the cap. That is gonna be challenging. Uh... Sport Sorcerer Gloves. Man, I don't love any of these. Fashion Souls is challenging, guys. It's more challenging than I expected. Alright, Undead, Undead Legion. And then maybe let's go lighter pants. Something like the Sellsword Trousers, perhaps. Is there anything that we can do superior really i'm looking for better physical uh resistance at this point i don't know if that's the proper strategy but yeah maybe even this these mira trousers yeah let's see how we look oh look at that honestly not bad not bad y'all look at us look at us yeah i am i'm pretty pleased with our aesthetics 
so right now we have Titanite Chunk for Cell Swords. Uh, same for Uchi. Same for Longbow. What about our Rapier, which we were considering uh, throwing a few levels into? Let's see. Where are we at? Rapier plus four. Let's get that to plus five. Cool. All right. That's actually all at the moment. And then we've got 1,700 souls. Oh, is Grey Rat back? Ugh, he's still not back. Honestly, kind of missed the guy at this point. Kind of missed the guy. So in the meantime, let's buy a bunch of Kukri. Because that actually... Let's let's buy Max Kukri. There we go. Those have actually come in somewhat handy in the past. So, from here... Back to in Orlando. So, in Orlando, can we expect? So, obviously, everyone who who is watching this will know. Uh, Ornstein and Smell were the enemies du jour in Dark Souls 1 for in Orlando. And then in Dark Souls 2, we uh, we fought them again. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> uh, as I was saying, in Dark Souls 2, we fought... Uh, who was it? It was... Either Ornstein or Smell. I always forget which one is which. Um. Um. Whoa. Okay, I did not expect this to be the the most challenging boss of the area. So, okay. To cut things short, are we gonna fight either Ornstein and or Smell again? There, there, I said it. I said it before I could be killed again by another Black Knight. Which, you know, there's plenty of blood stains right here, so I don't feel too, too bad. Oh no, there's two of them! Oh! This is getting out of hand. Whoa! And their reach is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Okay. All right, let's take this seriously. Not that we weren't taking it seriously before, but let's really bear down. Oh, man. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, first one down. Thank goodness. There we are. Cell swords for the win. Silver Knight Helm. That does look really cool, doesn't it? Super duper cool. Oh, and there's another one down there. I see him. All right, so we're going to have to probably clear the battlements before we get too much further. I am wary. What's going on here? Pointless? Are you sure about that? Yeah. You know what? You were right. Sorry for doubting you. Now this feels like... Oh man, this feels like the exact spot where there was a friendly uh, giant blacksmith. Oh man, this... And I was right, I think. Isn't this the nice dragon's blacksmith... Or uh, giant blacksmith who helped us in Dark Souls 1? Tears ahead. Ah, uh, giant's coal. 
You know what? I I kind of hate it when I'm right, in some some cases. So this is um, confirmed. Like I remember this very vividly. This is exactly the vicinity in which we fought uh, Ornstein and Smell. And I wonder what, if anything, has taken their place. Man, this is... Guys, I'm gonna say it. Dark Souls is kind of depressing. I know. Shocker. Breaking news. But kind of depressing. And it's like... Like, when we saw everything in Dark Souls 1, it wasn't like we were even seeing them... Seeing things at their prime. We were seeing things... You know, that, that were already somewhat uh, in a state of degradation. So, like, coming back again here and seeing things in even less of an ideal state is, like, really sad. Like, this is the exact run back that we did for Ornstein and Smell. I recall because I did this <laughs> many times. As I'm sure many of you did. Your, uh, your first time. Alright, slimes and stuff, but, like, whatever, man. Like... Just give it a rest. Alright, let's not deal with you first. Let's deal with you. Alright, anybody, any other people want to snipe at me? And this is where we fought, um... I don't remember their name, but they were the individual who assassinated the Firekeeper. I feel like their name started with an L. It was like, not Lothric, it was like, oh no! What do we have here? Oh! Another Eldritch Horror. Oh gosh. No! Okay, Curse is bad news bears for me. Need to heal. Uh, and I'm still being sniped at. Alright, hide behind here, heal again, pop on out. Oh no, that's not what I want to lock on to. Alright, this is bad. Oh gosh. Heal, heal again need to survive. Can I draw him out here, actually, I wonder? Come on out here, man. Like, I'll fight you over here. In the sunlight. In the light of day. Yeah? Come on, let me help your pathing a little bit. Yeah? No? He's reluctant for some reason. Maybe he's got an aversion to sunlight. Honestly, this is fine for me. Is this good for you? This is good for me. I feel like this is a person this is an enemy who was meant to just kinda assassinate you. In that, for you to have limited to no uh, opportunity to survive, but survive we did. We survived the ambush. And uh, let's take this chance to throw on some fire bombs. Baby, you're a fire bomb. And let's do a little slime farming. What is this? Stardew Valley? Just kidding. I don't even know if Stardew Valley has slimes. I assume they must, right? Seems like games like that have have uh, slimes. Alright, where are you? Who exactly is sniping me from above, and can you not? Honestly, can you not? Yeah, there you are. Uh-oh!
All right, proof of a concord kept. That feels like another covenant. Proof of a covenant. It's kind of sad. Again, I'm rehashing old uh, conversational territory, but it's sad how well I remember these um, paths right outside the Ornstein and Smell room. But, um, let's kind of do our, do our deal here. Come on. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Oh, I love hitting multiple enemies at once. Feels like a luxury, for sure. All right. Here we are. Who's left? You? I'm so rich that your your death means nothing to me. It's just a toss of a firebomb, which I can buy more of. There we are. Now, what I want to know, I want to know a couple things. First of all, what exactly is behind that fog gate? Second of all, uh, what exactly did these double doors open up to? I vaguely remember what they opened up to as far as Dark Souls 1 territory. Oh, you. Oh no! What happened? Oh no! My... Uh, controller, not controller, my keyboard did not exactly do what I was hoping. All right, we have retrieved our souls, sort of, some of our souls. Uh, I did perish once on the way back here, but 22,000 is still in the vicinity of a, another level in addition to this crestfallen knight. Uh, ooh. Now, what do we have here? Hidden path, question mark? Is it? Mmm, survey says... Probably not. Uh, but let's finish our vetting of this particular area. What do we have here? Doors? Nope, not even. Not this time. Okay. Uh, let's heal. Top off for just a bit. And let's check this side. I think everything over here has been... Uh, has been scouted out. So yes, I believe we are officially good. So obviously we're going to have to clear out all those sorcerers and slimes and such. Not to mention see what lies behind the fog wall of an Orlando. So a little bit of an exploration type episode, but very much worth it in my opinion. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. And next time, let's see who has... Uh, taken up the mantle of the infamous Ornstein and Smell. I cannot wait, and I cannot wait to have you with me for that journey. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye for now.